Ocean. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You're a superstar. You well? Yeah, I'm well. I'm well. <laughs> I'm glad to see you suited and at work. Yeah, well, it's, it's one of yours, actually, so... Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> are you well? Is all the family okay? My family's fine. Everything is good. Times are tough, but times are tough Brilliant. for most people, right? Look, I know you're at work, and I'm, I appreciate you taking my call, but it's just a couple of things that I wanted yeah, to take right. you through, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know yeah. you're very happy, and, and you trust me a lot and stuff, but all the more reason that I just want to uh, give you the option to update things slightly, okay? Okay. So I'm just going to switch the camera around. Okay. You should be able to still see me now. Yeah, I can, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, you know, one of the things that... Uh, I know that you like pretty uh, discreet buttons and I know you've picked out a button that you think looks probably the closest match, which is this mother of pearl. But I think that once you see it, you're probably not going to like it and your second choice is probably okay. the best choice that goes well with yeah. that light grey. But al yeah, alternatively, I don't like too shiny. alternatively a brown like these two would go well, also. Okay. So I like these two browns, or the your second choice, that gray. I think we'll go with the gray, please. Okay, done. Yeah, your please, jacket, you. your jacket is always a classic um, notch lapel. Yeah. I wonder if you want to change it slightly, and perhaps do a peak lapel. Or a fish mouth. Oh, what's, what's, the, what's the second one? Do you say fish? What fish mouth, one? yeah. It's quintessentially English. Very saddle robe, very Jermaine okay. Street. Sound good? Yeah, I'll try that one, please. Okay, great. Okay. Would you like the additional hand stitching round the lapels? Uh, yes, please. And I'll give you a buttonhole. Okay, for your you. poppy pin badge of flower this time I would like to overlap the buttons on the cuffs okay it's a higher level of detailing and always remember to leave the last button open yeah would you like a ticket pocket this time sorry no, should I miss the would you like a ticket pocket way? you normally yes, have please. two straight pockets would you like a ticket pocket yes Yes, please. Thank you. Um, I want to make the pocket slightly smaller and more contemporary. Okay. All the more okay. so for a light grey suit. Super. Should I slant the pocket so they're angled? Yes, please, yes. I think that's a good I've idea. That. I've seen that. Okay, great. Um, you still like the double vent, or should I switch you to a single? Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, let's do a single this time. Double, please. Stick to the double? Okay. Yeah, let's do this with this one. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so, so a single vent then. Yes, please. Um, I'm going to reduce the waist by one centimeter. Yeah. Is there any need to reduce the legs? Do you want them skinnier? Uh, yeah, the, leg, the length of the legs is absolutely fine. And the, what about the uh, circumference, the width of the legs? No, they were, they were fine. The last two trousers have been great. Okay, so no reduction there, just the waist. No, thanks. Yes, please. Would you like to do buckles this time? Or you still prefer belt loops? Uh, belt loops, please. Sure. I think that uh, pretty much uh, covers it. So my final question though is your concern about the snugness of the jacket. Yeah. Where is it snug? Remember everything is handmade, so there will be some sort of variation between each suit from year to year. How snug is your latest suit and where is it snug? So across the belly or the chest or both? Uh, so, so not 
See. I can see. Okay, let's okay. flip the camera back around. And let's come back to me here. So when I fasten that button there, it just pulls okay. underneath here a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, does that make sense? That makes total sense. I got you. In fact, if I fasten it now, you might be able to see. It's not a problem. How do you feel in the shoulders? Mm -hmm. Simon mentioned the shock. Got yeah, you re you remember everything, shock. huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Simon made sure that the padding and stuff was equal. Yeah. So the to be brilliant. Okay, great. So I'll give you just a hair across the belly and chest. Sorry. I'll give you just a hair across the belly and chest. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. We're gonna do this in a week again, okay. where I take where I take you through the new suit. But before uh, we go. A quick talk about the shirts. You should flip yeah. the camera around. So, here are your two shirt fabrics. Can you see them? Yeah. Okay. You have a front placket. I want to make it slightly thinner than before. Okay. Okay, just I, I want okay. you to give me some discretion here now. I'm gonna split the yoke at the back of the shirt. What does that mean? You can Google it. If you went to Jermaine Street or Savile Row and bought a very high-end shirt, if you went to Turnbull and SN, spent 300 sterling, the yoke would be split at the back. I wanna do that for you. I wanna upgrade you to mother of pearl buttons. Okay? okay? So the blue shirt will have mother of pearl buttons. The black shirt will have charcoal mother of pearl buttons. They're beautiful okay. buttons. If they, if they snap, I'll send you more. Okay. Inside the collar and underneath the cuff, I'd like to slightly contrast the shirts. So with the blue shirt, like how I'm doing a jacket lining for you, I'd like to put this blue paisley in. So where would that be? Uh, this, it will go here. Underneath. And inside the French cuff. Let's try something like that, okay? Thank you very much. And for the black for the black shirt, since you're going out in it, I was thinking um, a contrast like this. Is that too leery for you? Yeah, a little bit. I quite like playing black. I must admit. Okay. Little, then what about like what about a white playing. like this? Okay, so that will be entirely plain black, just the blue one will have a lining. Yes, please. Okay, great. So we're done and I'll talk to you like this again in a week, okay? You cut him off? Oops. That was fast. Josephine, you don't take videos, you don't... Sorry, I accidentally cut you off too fast. I just want to say bye and we're done for now and I'll, and I'll chat with you again in a week. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. So that was rapid fire. Uh, two uh, consults uh, uh, in the UK. Um, hope you guys like that. And I think this is going to be a daily thing for me. At least I hope it is. I pray it is because, uh, you know, this is the way we have to do business now until um, they open up the borders. And... What I can understand is that, you know, especially in, in developed countries, why can't people just do a COVID test before they board the plane and when they get off the plane? You know what I mean? Look, I'm not a politician or a scientist, but I think the fact that we're in September and this stuff started end of January, I mean, this is a bit ridiculous now. But anyways, keep watching me and you can DM me and, you know, whatever. Ask me anything, anytime. I'm there for you guys. Thanks.